after starting this module you shall be able to know the secondary market and its role know about various stock exchanges in india understand the mode of buying and selling of shares know the trading system on stock exchanges we shall commence this module by studying about trading mechanism in securities market secondary market refers to a market where those securities are traded which are already been offered to the public by an initial public offer in primary market these securities to be traded on stock exchange must be listed there majority of the trading is done in the secondary market secondary market comprises of equity markets and the debt markets for the general investor the secondary market provides an efficient platform for trading of his securities it provides an opportunity to investors to liquidate the securities as and when needed for the management of the company secondary equity markets serve as a monitoring and controlled conduit by facilitating value enhancing control activities enabling implementation of incentive based management contracts and aggregating information that guides management decisions we shall now understand the stock exchanges in india the majority of trading in the indian stock exchange takes place at two of its most famous stock exchanges that is the bsc bombay stock exchange and nse national stock exchange however there are many more stock exchanges in india such as calcutta stock exchange delhi stock exchange ahmedabad stock exchange limited here is the list of stock exchanges some of them have expired and licenses are required to be renewed first ahmedabad stock exchange limited the status is permanent address kamdenu complex opposite shahjanabad college panjra pule ambawadi ahmedabad second bsc limited the status is permanent address pj tower dalal street mumbai third bhuvneshwar stock exchange limited valid up to 4 june 2014 address stock exchange bhavan P2 Jayadev Vihar PO Chandrasekharpur Bhuvneshwar Fourth Calcutta Stock Exchange Limited status is permanent address 7 Lions Ridge Kolkata Fifth Delhi Stock Exchange Limited status is permanent address DSC House 3 Oblique 1 Asaf Ali Road New Delhi Sixth Guwahati Stock Exchange Limited valid up to 30 April 2013 address saraf building annexure 80 road guwahati 7th jaipur stock exchange limited valid up to 8 january 2015 8th mcs stock exchange limited valid up to 15 september 2015 address 4th floor vipgyor tower plot number c 62 g block bandra kurla complex bandra east mumbai 9th Madhya Pradesh Stock Exchange Limited the status is permanent address Palika Plaza phase 2 201 second floor MTH compound Indore 10th Madras Stock Exchange Limited the status is permanent address PO box number 183 new number 30 second line beach chennai 11th Magadh Stock Exchange Limited SEBI wide order dated September 3, 2007 refused to renew the recognition granted to Magadh Stock Exchange Limited. 12th National Stock Exchange of India Limited the status is permanent. The address is Bandra Kurla Complex Bandra East Mumbai. 13 OTC Exchange of India valid up to 22 August 2014 address 92 Maker Towers F Kufe Parade Mumbai. 14 Pune Stock Exchange Limited valid up to 1 September 2014 address Shiv Leela Chamber 752 Sadashiv Pet RB Kumthekar Marg 
Pune. 15. The Vadodara Stock Exchange Limited. Valid up to 3rd January 2015. Address Fortune Tower, Sayaji Ganj, Vadodara. 16. UP Stock Exchange Limited. Valid up to 2nd June 2014. Address Padam Towers, 14 Oblique 113, Civil Lines, Kanpur. 17. United Stock Exchange of India Limited. Valid up to 21st March 2015. Address Office number 326, 7th floor, Karkadia Building, 195, NCPA Mark, Nariman Point, Mumbai. Note, the Hyderabad Securities and Enterprises Limited, erstwhile Hyderabad Stock Exchange, Coimbatore Stock Exchange Limited, Saurashtra, Kutch Stock Exchange Limited, Mangalore Stock Exchange, Interconnected Stock Exchange of India Limited, Cochin Stock Exchange Limited, Bangalore Stock Exchange Limited and Ludhiana Stock Exchange Limited have been granted exit by SEBI wide order dated January 25, 2013, April 3, 2013, April 5, 2013, March 3, 2014, December 8, 2014, December 23, 2014, December 26, 2014 and December 38, 2014 respectively. We shall now understand the trading mechanism. In very simple words, one can understand stock exchange as an intermediary or a point where buyers of stocks and sellers of stocks come to meet each other. And if both of them match a deal with each other, they enter into a transaction. Earlier, stock brokers used to come together around banyan trees to conduct trades of stock. They used to outcry for entering into transactions. As the number of brokers increased, there started problems of space scarcity and thus they used to shift from one place to another. Finally, in 1854, they relocated to Dalal Street, the place where the oldest stock exchange in India, the Bombay Stock Exchange, BSC, is now located. It is also India's first stock exchange and has since then played an important role in the Indian stock markets. The Bombay Stock Exchange Limited or BSC has a nationwide reach with a presence in 417 cities and towns of India. Its index or market indicator is known as the Sensex. Even today, the BSC Sensex remains one of the parameters against which the robustness of the Indian economy and finance is measured. In 1993, the National Stock Exchange or NSE was formed. Nifty is the leading index for large companies on the National Stock Exchange of India. It consists of 50 companies representing 24 sectors of the economy. However, with advent of internet technology, most of the transactions nowadays are carried out with the help of online facility. Trading at both the exchanges takes place through open electronic limit order book. With this, the order matching is done by the computer. There are no market makers or specialists. It means everything is based on matching of demand and supply that is market orders placed by investors are automatically matched with the best limit orders. Thus, buyers and sellers never come across each other. All the orders in a stock exchange for buy or sell are placed through brokers. Brokers are the ones who are a link between stock exchanges and the investors. The brokers act as agents to trade in securities, that is, buy and sell securities on behalf of clients, individual investors, companies, etc. for a commission and may also act on their own account and risk. Until the emergence of electronic trading in the form of dematerialized shares in 1993, trading was done in the age-old style of open outcry system. In this system, brokers used to assemble at a place called as ring and start shouting about the deals. 
it was used to be a very chaotic atmosphere where everyone used to shout and enter into deals with the introduction of online trading as stock exchanges brokers also preferred to provide online trading the online trading system of bse is known as bolt that is bse's online trading system and of nse is known as neat that is national exchange for automated trading both bolt and neat use satellite communication for trading using vsat nowadays brokers provide online trading facility to their clients or customers many such brokers like shere khan tradegy etc are there institutional investors can also take advantage of the direct market access dma option in which they use trading terminals provided by brokers for placing orders directly into the stock market trading system the trading hours at stock exchange following will make more clear about the trading mechanism we will learn now of opening a dmat account the very first requirement for investing in stock market is of dmat account all the investors who want to trade in this market must have a dmat or dematerialized account dmat account is an account in which the securities are held in dematerialized form whenever securities are brought then money value of securities will be taken out by bank from this account and the dematerialized securities will be added to this account in short cash goes and securities come the opposite things happen at the time of sale in india the government has mandated to entities national securities depository or nsdl and central depository services india or cdsl to be the custodian of dematerialized securities a depository interfaces with the investors through its agents called depository participants or dps if an investor wants to avail of services offered by the depository the investor has to open a dmat account with a dp a stock broker can also be a depository participant now we shall discuss the purchasing of dematerialized shares the first requirement for buying securities is to give instruction to a broker nowadays this is done online as someone wants to buy a share he is required to make payment to his or her broker the broker then makes payment to clearing corporation on payment by broker shares are received by the broker in his clearing account or clearing member account then the broker will give instruction to his depository participant to debit his clearing member account and credit his client account that is the account of person who wanted to buy the shares that very person is required to give instruction to its depository participant this instruction can be given at the time of opening an account or at the time of every purchase for receiving dmat securities thus it is very important that the broker transfer securities from his clearing member account to the investor's depository account if the securities remain in the clearing account of the broker the company will give corporate benefits dividend or bonus to the broker we shall now understand the selling of shares in case if someone wants to sell his shares he will do it through a broker on a stock exchange and then he will instruct his or her depository participant to debit his account with the number of securities sold and credit the broker's clearing account this instruction is given through delivery instruction slip which is provided at the time of opening dmat account the broker gives instruction to its dp for delivery to clearing corporation after that 
broker receives money payment for shares from the stock exchange clearing corporation and you receive payment from the broker for the sale of securities. We will now move on to discuss the settlement cycle and trading hours. At this point, one should understand that although everything can be done online now, but market follow a T plus 2 rolling settlement, that is trading day plus 2 days. This means that any trade taking place on Monday gets settled by Wednesday. All trading on stock exchanges takes place between 9.55 am and 3.30 pm Monday through Friday. We shall now recapitulate what we have learned so far. Although stock exchange is economic barometer of economy, but trading on this platform also involved so many intermediaries. There are so many brokers, clearing corporations, depository participants and investors. Each stock exchange has its own clearing corporation. Each and every member and participant work with great care and synchronization that everything is done in very less time as compared to earlier stock market. The introduction of information technology has really made trading simpler and easier. NSDL and CDSL are playing the very important role of keeping each and every record in dematerialized form. Thank you.